Hey everyone! In this video, I'm going to share with you how I make a Beam design code using Python. Python is an open source programming language and it's widely used nowadays, especially in data science and machine learning. The Beam design code that I'm going to make requires input values of the material properties and beam size. This code will automatically suggest the reinforcements that can be used together with the corresponding moment capacities. The code will also allow the user to input the user preferred reinforcement. And then the code will calculate the moment capacity as well as classify the beam if it's under tension controlled, compression controlled, or under transition. Finally, the code will tell the user if the steel ratio is within the limits specified by ACI code. In order to build this code, I will apply some basic Python functions or commands such as creating functions and calling these functions when I need them, conditional statements like if else or if else if statement, and I'll do some for loops and while loop with try and exception method. This code will also solve quadratic equation and equations using basic mathematical operations. The code will also show um, how to create a dictionary and then convert the dictionary onto a data frame using pandas. And then we'll try to add data onto the data frame. And finally, we'll apply the user input method do some basic format and rounding of numbers, and some string concatenation. So I started the code by defining some functions. It's basically grouping a set of commands that does a specific task. By using functions, it's easy to trace and isolate the errors in my code, and I can deal with it faster. The first function is to calculate the value of beta 1 and I use a basic if-else statement. So if the value of the compressive strength of concrete is less than or equal to 28 megapascals, beta 1 should be equal to 0.85, else it will take the maximum of these two values. The so next function is calculating the steel areas. I first input the math module in Python so I can use the value of pi. AS represents the bottom reinforcement area where n is the number of bottom rebars, and AS prime represents the area of the reinforcement at the top where n prime is the number of rebars at the top section. So this function returns the value of AS and AS prime. The next function is calculating the effective depth. So the effective depth is equal to the overall depth of the beam minus the concrete cover, minus the diameter of the stirrups or the diameter of the tie, minus the diameter of the bottom bar times 0.5 if it's in one layer or times 1.5 if it's in two layers. So we can define a multiplier which is equal to the number of layers minus 0.5. So in order to determine the number of layers, I use a generator function, which is this one. A generator is basically a for loop written in a single line. So I make an iteration from one layers to five, and then compute the parallel spacing between bars, which is given by this formula. And then I specify a condition to select only the layers, which results to a spacing greater than the rebar diameter. Because by rule of thumb, the minimum parallel spacing between bars should not be less than the rebar diameter. So this generator will return all possible number of layers that will satisfy this condition. But by applying the next function, it will only return the first layer to satisfy the condition. So let me demonstrate by running this function.
The next function is calculating the depth of the top bar, which is denoted by d prime, which is equal to the concrete cover plus the diameter of the tie plus the diameter of the top bar times multiplier 0.5 if it's in one layer times 1.5 if it's in two layers. I also created a generator to compute the parallel spacing, which is similar to the effective depth function earlier. The next function is to calculate the stresses and strain values. In order to get this, I need to solve first by the value of C, which is the distance to the neutral axis. Using the equilibrium equation T is equals to C plus C prime, where T is the tension force by the bottom reinforcement, C is the compression force by the concrete and C prime the compression force by the top reinforcement. I substitute the form formula for each force and I then derive a quadratic equation where C is the unknown. Using the quadratic equation format where AX squared plus BX plus C is equals to zero, I can then substitute the values of A, B, and C with these values respectively. And then I can solve for the value of D, which is the discriminant, and then solve for the value of C, which is the distance to the neutral axis. Consecutively, I can solve for the value of A, which is the compressive stress block depth. And then I can calculate for the tensile stresses Fs and Fs prime for bottom and top reinforcement respectively, as well as the strain values for the bottom and the top reinforcement. This function will return the values of Fs, Fs prime, Es, A, and C. Please note that I imported math module so I can use the square root function. The next function is to calculate for the strength reduction factor and to classify the beam. So phi is the strength reduction factor defined by this formula. If phi is greater than or equal to 0 0.9, then we classify it as tension controlled. If it's less than or equal to 0 0.65, then it's under compression control. And if it's in between, it's under transition zone. So I use the basic if, else if, and else statement for this function. And this function returns the value of phi as well as the classification. The next function will calculate the forces and the moment capacity given by this formula. So this function will return the values of the ultimate moment and the values of the forces. The next function calculates the steel ratio and then it will evaluate if the steel ratio is within the specified limits given by these formulas. I use a basic if-else-if-else if, else statement for this function and then I also formatted such that the steel ratio will give me up to four decimal places. This code is for the Greek letter wall. 